In this video, we're going to be going over how to install on a virtual private server and how to update on your Linux. This is for the VPS specifically, so stay tuned. So first thing, we'll be installing on a vir Vulture uh, virtual private server. Doesn't matter which virtual private server, it's just the one that I'm going to be showing today. The steps are similar and should take you there. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. First things first, go to node.gala.com. You're going to go to download. You're going to go to the Linux, not the Windows, the Linux. You're going to scroll down to install the Gala Node software v3 on Ubuntu Linux. Click open link in new tab. That'll bring us to the Linux article, which is very well put together. Before you do all this, I would recommend to go to putty.org, download putty. This is so you can talk to your virtual private server. You click download putty. It's gonna be this first install here, 64-bit. You're gonna click it, install putty. What putty looks like once it is installed is like this, putty app. You're gonna click it, it's gonna open up and it's gonna look like a boring little web page like this, which we will come back to. Once we have putty installed, which I encourage because it's just easy to use, we are gonna go back to the install Galanode v3 software. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your virtual private server. This is the requirements currently. This can go up once the Gala film, Gala music, Gala games comes out and there's different requirements, but this is what it is currently. So I use Vulture because I know how to use it. You can use whatever. It's going to be similar steps. So once you're logged in, deploy a new server. It's going to be Cloud Compute. Leave it on AMD. Choose whichever one's closest to you, Dallas, Ubuntu 20.04. Scroll down. It's going to be the $24 a month one because it's two, four gigabytes of memory there. You're going to turn off enable backups because that's a waste of money. None of these should be checkmarked. Then you're going to type in whatever you want to type in here for your server name and label. Then you're gonna click deploy now. After you deploy your server, it's gonna to start to install and boot up. This can take up to about five minutes before we're gonna be able to uh, move on. So we will come back in just a second. Once it's been a couple of minutes and your install is done, it's running, it's been up for a little bit, the computer system should be going. Click into it. You're going to copy your IP address. You're going to go ahead and paste that into Putty right here and click open. It should make a connection. If it doesn't, means the server probably needs a little bit more time to finish installing. So we're waiting for it to try to connect. And usually this is uh, much quicker. So I'm wondering if I didn't wait enough time here yet. I did not. So network error, connection timed out. That means I simply have not waited enough time. So that's what you'll see. So it's good to see that. And we'll give it a few more minutes. All right, it's been a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a try again. So we're going to open up Putty again, copy our IP address. Go ahead and paste it here. Click open. And this is exactly what should happen right away. Click accept. That means we're good to go. Root is our login. Copy that password right there going to type root enter then you just write in the green box right click it is in there i promise all you do is click enter and wait a second it's going to boot up like that now we are in and we're going to start our install so people always screw this up do exactly what i'm doing just copy do not put extra spaces do every line and you will be fine. You just right click, that's all you gotta do. Once you copy something, you just right click in this box, it'll paste it right in so beautifully. It's go ahead and install in, doesn't even matter what it says. Go to the next black bolded line, copy it. We're gonna right click right in here, click enter. Don't even care what it's doing, it's gonna install. We're gonna go to the next black bolded line, copy. See how easy this is guys, see it's doing all this stuff. Doesn't even matter. If you're doing it exactly this way, especially on a Vulture VPS or something, it should all install without any difficulty. Don't forget, if you already got it installed, version 3.2.1, actually version 3.1.10 or higher, you can just type in gala-node space update and it will update it from now on. So we no longer have to do completely brand new instances, which will be very, very nice for everybody involved. Next part we're going to be doing is the sudo system ctl status docker. If you're trying to do this on a home Windows computer, 
sometimes some of these commands aren't exact and don't line up perfectly. You can go ahead and watch my uh, Linux on Windows YouTube video if you're trying to do it that way instead. But for a VPS, it should be exactly like this. So we are almost complete with our progress here. Waiting for all install, there we go. Now we're just gonna right click, enter, okay. Then it says to press Q right here in the document. So Q, enter, wait, did I click it? Oh, there we go. Q, enter. Now we're gonna go to the next one. Copy, paste, boring. Go down to the next one. Make sure you copy it all. Don't leave out the Windows thing there. Paste. Some people have run into issues after we get this installed, and I will show you where and what to do if that happens. After you pasted that in, the pseudo widget here, do not copy this one. It'll be wrong. You scroll down to this guy right here, bold, copy. You're going to go back to your window and putty here, right click. You're going to over arrow, over arrow, over arrow to that dot, backspace. Then you're going to do dot 2.1. That's a version we are on. And then now it is in. Now you're going to copy the next one. Copy. Paste. Enter. Click Y for yes. Enter. Sometimes people got stuck at the Y. It would like kick them out. Um, which was like super annoying for everybody. If that's happening, you might just have to try to create a new, brand new server. Um, I forget what the other workaround is, but you can try to find us in Discord and we can try to help you out if it's doing that. So do not click enter, delete the your API key all the way back to here. You are gonna need one space there. Then go to your Gala node API key I would just generate a new API key because sometimes using the old ones, I swear it's just kind of weird. So I'm just going to create a brand new one for this one. Once you create a brand new one, you can use the same API key for all the other installs as well. You don't have to keep creating new ones. Right click, enter. The API key has been successfully set. Go back to your install web page here. We're going to scroll down. Next thing we're gonna do is copy the workloads. This part people make mistakes on because they put commas, do not put commas, just click space. And then type in founders, if you have a founders one. Space, type in Poundstar if you have that. Spider tanks if you have that. Just a space in between each one. Player, film. Remember only one type of node on each server so you can't do two founders or anything or two film you can only do one of each and then you're going to click enter it's going to say successfully set the workloads and then we get to the beautiful pseudo gala node start right click paste and it go ahead and it'll run through this then we'll say gala node created if you really want you can type in the pseudo gala node status this is a completely unnecessary step that you do not need to do because once it says Gala node created, it has been created. And all you're going to be doing at that point is going back to the dashboard and waiting to see it pop up here. This one is from my other previous video of installing it on Windows. You can see it is now up and running. So just waiting to make sure that this says Gala node created, which it will. It's pulling all the images and everything. Gala node created. So that means we are golden and good to go. Like I said, if you really want, you can type in the status and it's gonna say Gala Node is starting because we just clicked it right away. Once again, the Gala Node status thing is completely unnecessary. It doesn't, doesn't help us very much at all. Here, it's gonna take five to 20 minutes to show up. So you just have to wait until it shows up. When it does, you can go ahead and rename it uh, whatever you want for you to keep track of it. Any old ones will disappear after 24 to 48 hours. And then you have your node all installed. If that was helpful for you and you want to leave me a crypto tip, my wallets are down below. Otherwise, I do appreciate all the likes and the subscribes. And as always, stay warm, Wookiees.